when we look at the hybridization for something like PF5, this is phosphorus pentafluoride. So for PF5, when we look at the hybridization, what we're trying to do is figure out how the atomic orbitals for the phosphorus, we're going to focus on the phosphorus atom here, how they mix, and then how those mixed hybrid orbitals overlap with the orbitals of the fluorine atom. In short, the hybridization for PF5, that's sp3d. And here are two quick ways we can figure that out. First, we could look at the number of sigma bonds. Those are the single bonds. We have one, two, three, four, five single bonds. That's sp3d. But to do this, we really do need to have a valid Lewis structure. If you need help with this Lewis structure, there's a link at the end of the video. The other way we can do this is we can take a look at what's called the steric number. The steric number, that's the number of electron domains or electron regions attached to the central atom here. So for the phosphorus, we have one, two, three, four, five. Again, we end up with sp3d as our hybridization for pf5. There are some exceptions to this technique, and there's a link in the description explaining those. Again, what we're looking at is we're trying to look at how those atomic orbitals for that phosphorus atom, how they mix, and then how those mixed hybrid orbitals overlap with the other atoms, in this case, the fluorine. This is Dr. B with the hybridization for PF5. Thanks for watching.